All right, so in Cricut Design Space, you can weld text as well. And uh, right now I just have the basic text here, Happy Anniversary, and it comes from the little Disney Mickey uh, font that they have. And if you've noticed in previous videos, uh, you know, Cricut images sometimes come with multiple layers. And what's great about the multiple layers is uh, it gives us a nice uh, backing or shadow backing. And what we can do with the shadow backing anyway, the red portion, is we can sort of create a text base for us to work with and we want to weld some things together so that we can fuse some of these letters, you know, so that when they touch their overlapping pieces will be fused together. So th there is a couple ways that you can do this with text and we're going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so with the text selected, uh, you know, you'll even notice this with some of the fonts that you download and you try to use. Maybe some of it's cursive font as well. And you're trying to get these letters close together so you can do a nice backing weld or even cursive letter trying to weld. So under the edit property, we do have an option down uh, here, which is your spacing. And we can play with the spacing here. And as you can see, it's uh, getting closer and closer together. And... Uh, you know, the closer we get, there's some overlapping pieces. However, you know, if we click it one more time, maybe it's a little too much or maybe it's not enough because this Y doesn't seem to be moving any closer to that R. But, it, I mean, it is. But let's go ahead and, you know, we sort of got it in the range that we want utilizing the letter spacing right here. And then we can fine tune it when we ungroup things. Now, if you plan on keeping the uh, the original text up here, which I do, it, you're going to need to do this in a couple steps. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the edit with uh, the happy anniversary text selected. And I'm going to have both layers turned on for right now so we can sort of see what's going on when we do this. Uh, I'm going to click this button right here, distribute letters to layers. And basically what this will do for me is it will put uh, the blue text, uh, of course, on its own layer and the red text on its own layer. So now I can actually pull them apart and I can see what's going on. Uh, typically, you would just leave the blue text as is, assuming that you sized everything the way you want first. And then uh, you would tweak the backing some. So let's go ahead and tweak the backing. And I'm going to go ahead and right-click on Group. And you can see that... Uh, I can move these letters individually now. And keep in mind, I did not ungroup this at all, uh, the, the top portion. So I can move these letters around so that they can overlap. And once you have everything touching the way you want, you know, maybe maybe you want to, uh, you know, in, in this case anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drag some of that over so that they are overlapping. And then you can select everything, and you can go to Weld. And now that will be one piece okay now how can you visually check this well I meant things just don't line up because we moved things okay now I'm going to show you a workaround on this and in order to do that I'm going to need to uh, back up uh, to where we just had them originally into two layers so right now they're into two layers what I would do in order to uh, basically mirror the effects so now we're growing them both, we're sizing everything up, and then I'm selecting everything, and uh, I can't ungroup. Uh, I can only group. So I need to select individually. I'm going to right-click ungroup, and then I'm going to select this one on top, and I'm going to ungroup. All right, so now I, I'm in a position where I can select both letters that I'm trying to move, and because they are similar in position, I can move it like so. Now, they're not going to touch like you see right here. But when we go and weld this together, you will see that uh, everything will line up. So I'm holding the shift button now to make sure that I'm selecting the correct layers. And I can, you know, however slightly move that. Now, that's basically all I did before. Now I'm going to uh, select this. And I'm going to weld it. And I can go back up to uh, the happy anniversary portion, the blue text, and I can group it. 
And so once I have that, now they should line up perfectly because we basically mirrored the edits based upon uh, how we were welding by selecting each letter and moving it uh, the exact same position uh, relative to each other. So hopefully that little tip, that little trick helped out when you're trying to visually see it. However, it really doesn't make that much of a difference when you click the go because you know, it's going to go into paper saving mode with the blue text, but uh, it's going to keep everything nice and neat with uh, with the red portion anyway. So that's how you can uh, work with welding and text, and hopefully that tip helped you out when you're trying to design, okay?